<laughs> my name's Ten, and this is my mate Scott. We both work in London, and have been getting fed up with life in the city. So we're heading to Wales to spend some time in the great outdoors. Our plan is to climb Crib Gough, one of the UK's most dangerous mountains, and have ourselves a real adventure. The journey starts just outside Heathrow, in London, as Scott and I pick up the hire car and start loading it with the gear we're going to need for the mountains. Check out our gangster wagon for the week. Or weekend. What, what were we doing? Weekend. Yeah. Weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, it even fit. <laughs> so we now have the car and we are leaving London and we are heading eventually up to Wales. How are you finding the car, Scott? I've kind of forgotten how to drive. It's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, what do you mean when you say you've forgotten how to drive? Well, like, the lanes are everywhere here. It's really confusing. Um, but we'll see how it goes, you know. I feel very tense. <laughs> Check in with us later to see if we survive the trip. Okay. Motorway. M4. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> I don't like motorways on a good day, not a car that I've literally just got in. It'll be fine. You can do this, Scott. I believe in you. And well, I also, I ha I also have no choice. Find out quite quickly, aren't we? As we head up the motorway and eventually leave England, we notice a distinct change in the weather. First it rains, <laughs> then it hails, and we haven't even reached the mountains yet. And then it snows. Welcome to Wales. <laughs> yeah, that 30 mile an hour speed limit's gone well, isn't it? <laughs> but eventually. We make it. So we have just arrived at our hostel. As you can see, we are in the middle of absolutely nowhere. There's snow on the ground, which should make tomorrow's climbing quite fun. And yeah, I think me and Scott are both really, really happy to have arrived in one piece. The snow stopped. Yeah, snow stopped. The, bliz the blizzard seems to be over for now, which uh, makes a nice noise on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice to have the crunch of snow on your feet. You don't get that so much in London these days. Well, actually, today was snowing a bit. <laughs> yeah. But um, uh, yeah, quite excited about tomorrow. Um, we can't see much, it's really dark. But we feel like we're in the middle of the mountains. Um, and I, gu <laughs> I, guess, I guess we'll see you in the morning. So let's see the palace that awaits us. <laughs> I'm 12 again. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Before heading to bed, it occurs to us it might not be a bad idea to take a look at where we would be going. Crib Goch is a knife edge arete in the Snowdonia National Park, with its summit 923 meters above sea level. It has a reputation as one of the UK's most dangerous mountains. There are numerous accidents there every year, some of those fatal. If we didn't want to become another statistic, we needed to have a really good plan. And that's where we make the point of no return, like quite literally, point of no return, um, <laughs> where we either decide we're going to do the ridge or we're not going to do the ridge uh, based on how the conditions are. We, we found out earlier that you, you can't you can't backtrack this ridge. Yeah, that, that's apparently. that's a really nice little point. There, it's like it's like no matter how dodgy it gets, you have to go on. Really, so yeah. um, if we are going ahead, we'll be taking the trail up Cribgoch here. We've got the knife's edge, and once we've done that, that's where we're going to be committed, and we're going to have to push on all the way to the end. We're gonna fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I'm so, I love that. So um, it's 6.30 in the morning, we've just gotten up, and today's the day that we are hopefully going to try Crib Gach. Uh, I looked out the window to try and see what the weather was like, but it is still completely dark outside, so I don't know. Um, I guess we won't know if it's doable, basically until we reach the ridge itself. Uh, the big issue for us is going to be the wind, the wind's too high. It'll just be far too dangerous and we could get blown off the top. So that is something we're going to have to assess when we get there. Uh, otherwise, I'm feeling pretty good about it. 
Um, should be some snow. Should be some adventure. Should be some fun. The outfit of explorers. <laughs> I'm excited as we get ready, knowing the adventure is about to start. But there is a nervous feeling in the air. If we can, if it seems doable, I think we'll push up Krig Krigach and uh, and see. Yeah. <laughs> Um, in case of any accidents, don't open that folder that's on the desktop of my computer. <laughs> wow, first time seeing it in daylight. <laughs> oh, so this is where we are, the middle of the mountain. Leaving the car park and heading up the pig track, we happen across an intriguing sign. Yeah. So, uh, this is what it's telling us it's going to be up, like up at the mountain. Please note, Welsh. <laughs> Welsh. <laughs> hmm. Ice axe and crampons, essential. A lot of snow has hit the hills overnight. And even just going up the pig track, we can see the conditions aren't exactly ideal for the ascent. shoulder and yeah, yeah it'll be fine, it'll be fine. <laughs> both of us have done a fair amount of hiking and climbing before but I know Scott has less winter experience than I do and I can see he's a little concerned about the conditions Fucking miserable. <laughs> it is miserable I think but we're in a mountain in Wales in the winter I think as the, we the weather will clear up later on but I think It's so windy, the storm's kind of kicking up. Um, so, unfortunately, I think we're going to take the, the easier route. Uh, I mean, it's a bit gutting. Um, and it's. I'm sorry, Ken. I just don't think we're going to make it. So, after deciding it's far too risky to attempt to climb Crib Gok, we set off up the mountain to attempt to climb Crib Gok. So, we've started the approach to the ridge in Crib Gok. We've reached this little cairn here, which we believe is the point of no return. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and the only way from here is up. We decide it's time to gear up. Thankful that we took proper precautions and brought heavy duty equipment with us that would ensure our survival. So here we can see Scott putting on his I am the king of the mountain crampons. Uh, kick someone in the face, they have no face. And I have springs on my feet, so I'm sure I'll be fine, absolutely fine. It looks like you've uh, raided like a mechanic set or something. <laughs> the slope increases sharply, and we soon find ourselves relying on ice axes and crampons to make our way up. However, it's not long before I realise my crampons don't seem as attached to my feet as I would like them to be. Can you reach it with your axe at all? Uh. Okay, be careful. 
There isn't much for it. I have to go back and pick it up. Otherwise, there's no way I'll be able to survive the ridge. But down climbing is a lot harder than going up. One wrong step, and it could be a long, long fall. Um. Oh, yeah. yeah, so that slope there is how steep it is. Uh, but it's a good job I've got these spiky bastards. And. And. Uh, I lost my crampons twice already. He says crampons are springs. <laughs> they are springs. <laughs> like, literally, they're, they're springs. You just say snow. <laughs> it just <laughs> pings off the cliff. It's spring. You alright? Yeah. Just take it nice and slow. Think about where you're putting your feet. As we struggle our way towards the ridge, we can see the scale of what we're about to attempt, with the knife edge disappearing into a cloudy abyss. But being the plucky explorers that we are, we're filled with nothing but an overwhelming sense of confidence. Hi. Don't say that. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> As I take my first tentative footsteps onto the narrow bridge of rock, I'm acutely aware of the sheer sides of the mountain descending into nothingness below me. It's scary, but I know it's also the beginning of a great adventure. Souls brave enough to venture into this rocky winter yeah. landscape. <laughs> Not bad at all. As we push along the knife edge, we soon find the terrain rising again. We begin climbing, very conscious that one wrong move could have quite disastrous consequences. The pinnacles are a scary sight, but going back is impossible. The only way is up. Yeah, the pinnacle's gonna be interesting. So we gotta push on. Scott, talk. We can do it. One of the most dangerous climbs on the ridge was now behind us, but that didn't mean it was going to be easy from here. There was still that small matter of finding the summit. What's wrong? I'm trying to think. I'm think. Uh, I think we should follow up here and see what we can see. Up here. Um, 
Yeah, further, further up that way. Because oh, the path on the other side. Yeah, because yeah. just now the ridge is following north, which yeah. is the wrong way we're supposed to be going. All right. Yeah, I think we'll go to the top of this, see where we're at. It might just be a curve in the in the ridge. Mm. Um, but the ridge does follow west for most of the way, and that's most of the way we have been going west. So. Worst case scenario, we can just go back to Kribka. How about... Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Heading higher up the mountain, the climbing was now less of a challenge. Certainly nothing compared to what we've been through. Good flag. Flag. <laughs> However, Kribgok, not keen to make things easy for us, decides to give us something else to contend with. The weather. The blizzard raged furiously all around us, and was so bad I could hardly even make Scott out in front of me. But just when I was starting to worry, we saw the marker that told us we'd reached the summit. So now, we're going to try and head down. Yes, that way. That way. And we'll get past. Excellent. We need to get down before it gets dark. Jiggle bumps for the wind. The way down was considerably easier than the way up had been. The weather began to clear. We managed to find time for a spot of lunch. And before long, there was even a path again beneath our feet. I'm feeling pretty happy. My hands warmed up. I still kind of can't believe it that we did it. I know, and it felt so much easier than... Well, like, well apart was, from the crazy scary bits. There's the crazy scary bits, but like... They're crazy scary for the exposure and the fact that we didn't know actually how high we were. Yeah. But in terms of like ability wise, yeah there was a few complicated bits, but it wasn't actually it was fucking terrifying. Well we made it, we survived, it was pretty epic, and uh, even had lunch on the way, so I'm feeling pretty good now. Um, my knee's been a bit dodgy on the way down, but otherwise no major injuries. I got bear trap. <laughs> No major injuries, um, though we still do have like a mile or two to go, but certainly the worst is behind us, and so far, a very successful trip. With the mountains now behind us and the hostel in sight, we had done what we had set out to do. We had climbed Kribgach, albeit in weather a little more extreme than we had anticipated, but we had survived to tell the tale. And most importantly, we'd had ourselves a real adventure.